What's up guys and welcome back to another Flex episode. I'm Jeanette Dierghart, your presenter for Flex. With me in studio is Anushka and JP Detoe. They will be showing us some couple workouts that you can do at home with your significant other or a friend if you have a friend at home needing to exercise. So we're going to go into the warm up. Straight away we're going to start with feet touches. So when we hit the 30 second mark we're going to do feet touches for 30 seconds. So let's start guys. So we're just going to tap it out and then they're going to go into a after 15 seconds we're going to do a hop. Okay, so hands on the hips for balance and in one second, let's go into a hop guys. Okay, so yes, so if you got it, that, that can also be a sort of modified, but you can also do it faster in four, three, two, one. There we go. So now we're going to go into some assisted squats. So this squat is just going to help us for to um, increase or improve our squat on the workout. It's going to warm us up. So let's go. So you can go down into your squat. As you can see, currently she's balancing on him. So they are the weights are counteracting. So that's why they can do this. So you can also do that. So not a lot will be on you when you do this workout. Okay, so this can also help as a modification if you have a partner with you. In five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome guys, so now we're gonna do some leg swings. So you guys are gonna stand uh, across each other again. So the arms are on the other shoulder and then they're just gonna swing their legs. So, uh, yes. Okay guys. Okay, you guys can go. So this is just gonna stretch out the hamstrings. You can hold on to the wall, JP, if you need the extra balance. And then, yes, they're just gonna swing the legs, so this is gonna stretch out your hamstrings, it's gonna stretch out your glutes a bit as well. And then we're gonna switch it to the other side again. So after this one, we're gonna switch it. Okay, four, three, two, one. Have you guys switched it yet? Okay. <laughs> Okay, go continue. Okay, this one is almost done. So with this one, you're just helping each other to complete the workout and it's just assisting each other so not all the stress will be with you. So, okay, we're gonna stop it there. Awesome guys, so we're gonna go into the, the workout, the complete workout. We're just gonna do one complete set and we're not gonna do two circuits like we normally do. We'll see you guys in the workout. So we are back for the for the workout guys after that warm up we are going to start with some assisted calf raises. So what they're going to do is they're going to stand opposite each other holding hands. Your feet is going to point out a bit and then they're going to go down on the balls of their feet. Okay guys, you can start. So let's go down and up. So you want to be on the balls of your feet constantly. So it's already a modification because you two are holding each other. Okay, so what you can also do is this seems like a very uncomfortable squat position. So feet out a bit more, your legs out a bit more. Raise the balls of your feet and then you go down. Okay, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. So now we're gonna do the back to back wall sets. So they're just gonna facing each other. So they're gonna stand back against each other and then again you're gonna go into a 19 de 90 degree angle so your feet has to go out a bit more. So you're, you ideally you want your legs to be in a 90 degree angle like you would normally do when you sit on a wall if you guys also want to increase this workout they're going to stay in this position but you can come up with your partner balance together and come you know come up and go down again okay and now after this one they're going to go we're going to do some over jumps so with the over jumps one of you two will be in a fetus position so you're going to crawl up yes and the other one is going to jump over so JP is going to stand on his side and he's going to jump over Anushka. Okay, so as you guys can see here, 
he's doing it on one leg. If you want to go faster, you can always go faster. Or if you want to have both legs closed, you can jump over your partner. So that would be the advanced version. So when you do this, this one is intermediate, or you can walk over if you can't do this, but you want to do it in a fast way. Okay, so now they're going to switch. JP is going to go into a plank hold and she's going to jump over his legs. Because JP is bigger, this is just going to be easier for her to jump over. Okay, so as you guys can see, she's going faster with this one. So if you guys can do this as well. So both of you, if you're doing this with a partner, can do this. So one goes into a plank and the other one jumps over the legs. So we're focusing mostly on your, on your lower body. So we're working the legs a lot here. And in three, two, and one. So now they're gonna do the assisted squat. So the assisted squat, Anushka or your other partner is gonna lie down. Legs are going to be up in an angle and because JP is longer, it's not gonna be 90 degrees. Okay, JP, you can sit, go into a squat position and then he's gonna go into a jump squat. So there you go. So that's what you can do. I'm holding her legs here because it's gonna get tired and obviously because JP is much bigger than his wife. So now we're gonna go. <laughs> Okay, you have 10 seconds left. If you want to go, it's just a normal squat. You can do this once you get tired. So this is actually to assist the other person. Okay, we're done. Awesome, guys. And now we're gonna do the assisted split squat again. Okay, now Anushka is first gonna finish her part of this segment or this workout. Okay, so JP's leg is gonna be up and Anushka is gonna go down, go down into and jump up. So she's gonna, she's doing it very, so as you guys can see, uh, yeah, a squat is a bit deeper in. And if we can lift up your feet a bit here. Okay. So this is just for her to rest a bit once she gets down and then she's gonna jump up. Three, two, and one. Great stuff, guys. And now we're gonna do the assisted split squat. So with the assisted split squat, Anushka turned to me. One leg in JP's hands. Okay, so you don't want to overbalance or be too much in front. So keep your shoulders straight. You can have your hands on your hips. And then we both go down. Okay, so you guys go down and up. <laughs> okay, try to bring out this leg a bit more. So you're gonna step out a bit more. Jump forward. Yeah, okay, then you go up. So you can hold on to me while you do this. So. Don't try and fall down too much. Keep your shoulders up when you do this. Okay. And five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're going to switch it. So JP is gonna go into the squat and they're both gonna go into the squat but there's gonna be a split squat. Okay, if you need me to hold your hands. Okay, let's go down. So. And then we're gonna switch again to the other leg in 10 seconds. But Anushka is gonna come and do her other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, Anushka, you're back in front again. So the leg that you didn't do, you're gonna do that one. Okay, as a diner. Okay, yes. Is that a comfortable position for you to... Okay, so stand a bit in front like that. Okay, so let's go down. So, both of you guys, so both of them are still getting a workout in this one. Both of them are working. And so ideally, you can do this. And if you don't have a genie to hold your hand, <laughs> you can always use the wall for this. Three, two, and one. Okay, so JP's next with his other leg. Okay. So, we're gonna go into that one and down. So if you can, if you guys can go deeper with this one, you can always go deeper. So the modification, so again guys, you are using a partner to modify a workout to help you out. So once you can do this by yourself, then you are almost at advance and do this for longer, for 
three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Now we're gonna do the assisted kickback. So again, they're gonna stand facing each other, and then they're just gonna do a kickback and bring up their knee, okay? So you guys can do this opposite leg. So you with your right one, yes. Okay, so this will definitely work. The leg that is, that is supporting you, will def you'll definitely feel it in that muscle. And as you come up, you have to bring up your leg and that's gonna help with your lower abs as well. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other leg. This is the last workout, guys. If you push through with this one, then you can also do, um, as you go out, you can stop a bit and bring in. Okay, so you can pause there because both of them is currently very unbalanced. So, so you go out, stop, and bring in, down. Go out, stop, bring up, and down. So you kick back and bring up, okay. So what you want to do is you want to flex your foot so you're not going to point your feet so it's going to stay like in that flex position you're not pointing your toes when you kick out and when you bring it up okay so five three two one doesn't matter <laughs> So now we're gonna go into the cool down after that workout. So now we're just gonna stretch our quadriceps. So you guys, they're gonna hold on to each other and then you're just gonna lift up your one leg and you're gonna stretch it. So if you don't have a partner, you can always use the wall or for balance, you can look at something and just keep your eyes focused on that one thing and then you will maintain your balance that way. So don't look around, just stay focused. So if you want to go deeper into the stretch, you're just gonna bend your elbows and pull up your leg further. Okay, we're gonna hold this for five seconds. Okay, and then the other side as well. So you guys can switch. So JP can come stand here and then you guys can still hold on to each other with the other leg okay so if you want more balance if you don't have a partner hands on your hips look forward or you can hold on to something so whichever works for you okay so now i'm just going to ask you guys to try and bring this can your leg come a bit closer to your knee so you try to kiss your two knees okay five four three two one awesome great stuff so now we're just going to do a forward bend so a forward fold so you're just gonna fall forward then you're just gonna stretch out your hamstrings again so this you can obviously do on your own you don't actually need a partner for this one so with the cool down you both can do whatever and not really assist each other okay but we're gonna do another assisted stretch you guys can sit down for me so now you both are gonna be wide-legged your feet are gonna touch each other turn around face each other yes okay now you're gonna hold hands and then you're gonna pull each other and just stretch out your back okay and then come up it's jp's now jp stretches okay, but because jp is longer they're constantly in the stretch already so you can be that way so just keep hold that for a few seconds you don't have to pull each other so just hold that and you hold that for a few seconds okay so that can also help with your flexibility if you guys want to be more flexible okay you guys we can stop there and now we're just gonna lift up our legs when they come up obviously <laughs> so just to do a butt kick but just a, you know a slow one just to breathe so remember to breathe whenever you guys are doing these exercises just feel a lot of feel calm and actually force your heart rate to lower a bit okay now we're just gonna so if you guys want to move your hips a bit, just gonna stretch out your hips and you know, smile while you do this, have fun while you're doing this. Okay, so now we're just gonna go into a twist. So you're just gonna twist this. Okay. But we did work the legs a lot. So we really want to, yes, this one is just twisting, also just for you to feel better afterwards. So it doesn't necessarily have to be related to the 
workout that you did but we are gonna stretch this okay guys so you can just go into a so you can go into a side lunge with this one yes then you stretch and go to the other side so if you feel that your leg you can't do this anymore then you just move to the other side okay so we're gonna stop there with that one okay guys that is the cool down if you guys want to continue you can just repeat the cool down again and just make sure that you're cooled down thank you guys for joining we'll see you in the next one